Oh. Hey guys, it's your favorite internet plumber, Saint. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install quarter turn taps. Just wall taps, um, but they're very, very good and easy to use and long lasting. So um, remembering whenever we do any water works, it's a good idea to turn the water off first. Hit the subscribe for the channel and um, yeah, I'm giving away trade secrets. So look after me guys, let's get into it. Now these are the taps I have at the moment. These are washer taps. So as I turn them on, you have to turn, 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 turn. And there's washers in here. So they take a little while to turn it on and off and the washers themselves, they can corrode. These are the taps I'm planning on putting in today. Nice new and shiny. These are just a quarter turn, so they go from there to there. I'll get into it and show you. Okay, so remember, always release the pressure. Good. Always good to open your taps whenever you're disconnecting or removing them. These ones are nice and easy to get off, but you might have to use a tool. Take them off, take them off. Take them off. And there's your spindles in the walls. Okay, because I'm not gonna be using these again, I can use a tool on them, but there is a uh, tube tool you can use to get into the wall if you need to. But realistically, I'm just gonna get these taps out. Washes out onto the wall. Sometimes you might need some long nose pliers, just like I'm going to need for that one. Okay. So these are the old style that we're removing, the old washer taps. As you uh, as you tighten, it goes out and blocks the hole. But you have to tighten a fair bit for it to move. Okay. Now, <clears throat> with these, generally, the cold, just remember it. Remember it is the cold and put all your cold bits together because they do have a blue bottom for cold and a red bottom for hot. That's actually important. Now most of the time, when you get these, they come together almost like it's meant to just go straight into the wall like that, but that's not the case. You actually need to pull it apart, and there's two parts to your quarter turn or three quarter turn taps, and you actually need to pull them apart and work with this part first. Now, at the moment, this is open. The best way for me to tell, and the way I do it, is I can blow through the spindle. I like to keep them closed while installing them so I know that they're closed because the handles only go a certain way. So, now that I know they're closed, I can install the cold one into the cold side. Okay, when installing, Again, you just need that one piece. That other piece, that goes on after. So, you put your cold one in first. Make sure that there's nothing in the wall that's gonna obstruct it. Get it in by hand. Get your tool. Just a shifter. Just give it a little tweak so you can tell it's sitting on the on the, uh, the base of the breach in the wall. Now that we know this spindle is off, we can actually put the handle on now before we get too far into the installation and see and make sure that they're nice and straight for us to be using them the way that we want them to. Okay? And then, your second piece goes on 
the outside. Making sure it screws the whole way down to the base. Iron slightly further in the wall. So I've got this tool here. Which you can put on. That on there. And you can actually tighten that into the wall. Okay, so basically all you want to be doing on the hot side is remembering that the red one goes in and repeat the process as what you did with the cold. Get that in there. Make sure that your handle, ah, perfect. Okay, now that they're in, got uh, extenders for the flanges, because the flanges don't work at the moment. You can get these little extensions. You just put them on just by hand. One for the hot, one for the cold. And then, flanges should spin on beautiful now that our taps are in place get our handles remembering the little bit there put those on and then we can put our handles on looking nice got the taps where we want them to be remembering we put the hot on the left hand side unless the plumber plumber previously has been a crappy plumber the hot should generally always be on the left at least in Australia so we pop the hot on there cold over here you just get that on there remembering the old trick of going in reverse till you hear the click so you don't cross thread these. These are quite easy to cross thread. So just take your time with them. And they're just so easy to use. Let's turn the water on so we can see. Full blast. Just the quarter turn. That's all it takes. They're so good. They look great. They're so easy to use. They last ages and you don't have to change washers. I'll do a video a bit later going into detail about why quarter turn taps are a bit superior to washer taps, but for today, that's how you install them. As always, thanks for watching guys. I hope that made it a bit easier for you guys if you did buy some and you want to install them or at least you want to understand how they work. Um, again, I will be doing a video on uh, washer taps versus quarter turn tap so you can know the difference. Um, other than that, see you next week. Thanks again, hit subscribe, like, all that crap. Love you. Plumber's saying is thick and juicy. All right, goodbye everybody.